Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach at commitmentconnection.com. And in today's video, I'm going to give you five reasons why men pull away in the early stages. So if this is your first time to our channel, make sure you go and hit the subscribe button to get more information on how to attract and keep the man that you want to have in your life. So why does a man pull away in the early stages of dating or seeing a woman? I know this could be really, really frustrating. It can be a lot of, it can be really, really frustrating for a lot of guys when women do this as well. Um, so what's going on here? Let's talk about five different things that it could be. Number one, there's a thing that I call mirroring, right? And if you're not doing that, this could be the reason why a guy's pulling away. And the reason is, is because he feels like you want this a lot more than he does. And if he feels like you're jumping into the pool before he's even decided that he wants to get in, um, there's a lot of chance that he's not going to get in the pool at all. And so um, if you uh, are like kind of all over a guy um, and he's like, uh, a lot of times he'll feel like, wow, this is way too much. I need to pull back. I'm, you know, maybe this woman's trying to use me for something. Maybe this woman's crazy. Maybe she's just way too into me and I'm not really feeling it yet. And she's not letting me feel it yet. And so a guy will pull back. And what you want to do instead is use something that I call mirroring, which is, um, kind of showing the same amount of interest that he does in the early stages so that you don't kind of spook him too quickly. So number two, the second reason why a guy will pull away in the early stages is that he senses that you want to either change him or rob him of his independence. And so the, the changing him thing happens a lot. You know, there's a lot of women that are out there kind of shaming men, you know, and saying, you should act like this, you should act like that and saying, you know, and like shaming their masculine behaviors or shaming who they are. And it makes a guy feel like, okay, she doesn't accept me for who I am. She does, you know, there's no way that this is going to be a good relationship because she's always going to be trying to change me. She's always going to be trying to make me act a different way than, than who I am. And so a lot of times, um, a guy will kind of pull away for, for that reason, or he'll pull away, um, because he feels like you're trying to restrict his freedom, right? Which is like this idea of, uh, like if you don't know, freedom is very, very important to men, right? There, there's uh, like, if you don't believe me, just go watch Braveheart. Um, you know, men love freedom and it's very, very important to him. And if you're trying to like stop him from doing things that are important to him, if you're trying to pull him away from his passions, if you're trying to uh, stop, stop him from having his free time and you're kind of smothering him and preventing him from having like, uh, some time away from you, then a guy a lot of times will just pull away completely um, or sometimes even ignore a woman, sometimes ghost a woman if she does these kinds of things to him because he doesn't want, uh, he, you know, maybe he likes himself and he doesn't want her trying to change him and manipulate him. And all he can think about is, you know, months uh, or years into the future, how is this woman going to act? She's going to, you know, continue to do these things, but only worse because she feels like she's already got me. So number three is maybe he is actually reading you very well and he senses that you want a real, loving, serious, committed relationship with him that progresses slowly and he just wants some sex, right? And so a lot of times if a guy's just looking for sex, he'll pull away if he knows that you're looking for a real relationship because you know, he just wants sex and he doesn't want to get tied into this thing. He doesn't want to make it awkward. He knows that if he tries to trick you, um, that it's going to blow up in his face because it always does. Um, and so what, you know, guys will typically do if, if you're like, Hey, we're slowing things down and I want to have a relationship and you know, this, and he just wants to have sex is he'll just disappear altogether. So number four is that maybe he's not reading you right. 
and he feels like he's getting mixed signals or maybe he feels uh, or, or, or maybe you're playing a game with him or something where uh, you show disinterest in him and, or rejected him. Um, you know, it's funny. I got a question from a woman not too long ago where she emailed me and she was like, hey, I there's this guy and I rejected him. He was chasing me or pursuing me and I rejected him. Why doesn't he continue to pursue me? And it's like, because you rejected him. You know, guys, the worst thing that a guy could have happen is feel like he ends up ends up in the friend zone because guys all the time end up in the friend zone. And so if he doesn't want to end up in the friend zone and he feels like you're not really that interested in him, uh, he might disappear altogether. So you want to make sure that he knows that you're interested in him. You know, there's a lot of people out there that say don't, you know, show disinterest or, you know, don't show a guy that you like him. That's horrible, horrible advice. You want to show a guy that you're interested in him. Just don't do it so overly that, you know, he thinks that you're, you know, trying to trap him into something or he thinks that you're way more into him than he is into you. You want to have kind of this mindset of, I'm interested in you. You seem really cool and interesting, but I'm not totally sure. I'm not totally sold yet on you, right? That's kind of the mindset that you want to have with a guy. So number five is that he has something really important going on in his life and uh, it kind of takes precedent over getting to know you and dating you and seeing you and being with you. And, And this happens with guys and women a lot. Lately, a lot of people are kind of choosing to opt out of relationships altogether because they just don't have time. You know, they've created kind of this massive importance around uh, something else and they're focusing totally on that now and they don't really have time to date someone or it could be another situation where an emergency came up, you know, maybe an emergency at work. That tends to happen a lot is I get a lot of women that tell me that a guy had some kind of big thing happen at work and she's like, why is he not talking to me anymore? And it's because he's got a big thing at work that kind of becomes the priority in his life because it's an emergency and he needs to make sure that he's stable and he's uh, you know, financially in a position that he's able to provide, uh, because that's where a lot of men kind of derive their value from is in their ability to be a man, which involves being a provider, um, which involves being a protector, which involves, um, being financially secure and having all the right things going on. Um, especially with people that have parents who fought a lot about finances, um, I know there are a lot of parents that did that. They just fought all the time about fine. I, I know couples that do that now. And so uh, a lot of times a guy will be like, look, this is important right now. And it's more important than getting to know you, um, unfortunately. But that's kind of the situation that a lot of guys are in. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, Click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.